scary ride from the backseat of a lift leaves a teenager on the side of the road. A 17 year old girl tells us she jumped out of that moving car because of her driver's suspicious behavior. Good evening, live from downtown Raleigh. I'm Lauren Johnson. Hi everyone, I'm Steve Daniels. This evening, 17 year old Azia Bowden is recovering from injuries after she jumped out of that lift car. It happened on Fox Road in Raleigh near 540 and Lewisburg Road. And that's where Cindy Bay is live tonight with the details. This is really incredible what happened, Cindy. Yes, Steve and Lauren, and we just learned from Raleigh police that there were no charges in this incident, but that's not enough for Isaiah Bowden. Earlier, she told me how she'd hoped there'd be more consequences after this terrifying experience. Oh, how many boys flirted with you? He said that right away. It wasn't long until Isaiah Bowden felt uncomfortable in a lift ride home. After two minutes of her driver's behavior. Oh, you just look good. I would date you if you weren't so young. Bowden says the driver then sprayed something that she says made her dizzy and warm. When I got in his car, it did smell like cigarettes. So when he sprayed one time, it was already like, oh, it no longer smelled like that. But for you to keep spraying it, then roll your windows up, like, I know it's not about me being nervous or anything. The terrifying experience ultimately causing her to jump out of the moving car. I was very scared, but then again, I was more so like, I'd rather get out of this car than, you know, fall asleep in a car with this man and I don't really know. Bowden fell in the area of 7300 Fox Road, a few miles away from her house. I just looked down at the ground, I looked behind me and I just jumped out. And he didn't stop when he noticed the door was open or he heard me crying or anything. The scars on Bowden's face and body reminding her of the close call and left removing the driver. I don't think that's stopping him from anything else. Like, um, it doesn't really bring peace to me at all. As us young girls or even women, like, we have to be very aware and safe of, like, our surroundings. Cancel your ride and wait, you know, wait for somebody. Because, honestly, I would have waited for my friend if you know anything else, but I don't see myself ever riding in another Uber or Lyft. I'm just I'm okay with that. And Bowden says she still plans to work, but might get a car or depend on family or friends to get there and back. Reporting in Raleigh, Cindy Bay, maybe still have an eyewitness news. And the news here at six o'clock, no charges filed uh, by Raleigh police. Cindy, thank you. I'll